In calculating the iterated integrals, remember we talked about the general region. So if your x is bounded between two vertical lines, x equals to a, and x equals to b, your outer integral must be in terms of x. The inner integral is in terms of y because y is changing between two curves. In the other case, if your y is bounded between two horizontal lines, c and d, it must be your outer integral, y, because your inner integral has a boundary depending on y. So be careful about these two scenarios, these two cases, and the rest should be just simple calculation from your elementary calculus. Now let's take a look at one example together. In this example, the question says, evaluate the double integral of x plus 2y dA over region D, where D is the region bounded by the parabolas y equals to 2x squared and y equals to 1 plus x squared. Well, how do we find the boundaries then? x is bounded between which values? y is bounded between which values? Let's do a little bit of algebra. Set y is equal to each other. So 2x squared is equal to 1 plus x squared, which just setting up parabolas equal to each other and doing a little bit of algebra. Bring x squared to the other side, you get x squared equals to 1. What's the meaning of that? It means that your x is equal to plus minus 1. So these two parabolas are intersecting at 1 and negative 1. This is the graph of y equals to 1 plus x squared. And the graph of 2x squared is down here. And this is the intersection between these two graphs at negative one and at one you have intersection and this is the region where the ceiling is x plus two y perfect so now we can define that region precisely d the region in x y plane is the set of all x and y's such that x, as you can see, is more than or equals to negative 1, and it is less than or equals to 1. Your x ranges between negative 1 to 1. Now for your y values. Your y is more than or equals to 2x squared, which is the graph down here, and it's less than or equals to the upper parabola 1 plus x squared. This is how your y is changing. This is the lower bound of your y, and this is the upper bound of your y. So as you remember, when you are taking the integral, the inner integral is with respect to y, and your outer integral is with respect to x. So let us set it up. We have the double integral of x plus 2y dA, which is, first of all, your function, your ceiling is x plus 2y. The inner integral is with respect to y, and the lower bound for your y is 2x squared. The upper bound for your y is 1 plus x squared. You can visualize this right in the graph. And the outer integral is with respect to x, and x is bounded between negative 1 and 1. Perfect. The rest is simple calculation. When you're taking the integral of x plus 2y dy, it means that x acts like a constant. So the integral of x dy is xy, and the integral of 2y is y squared. Now, you're going to plug in the upper bound 
then the lower bound and find the difference. After that, we're going to take the outer integral with respect to x. So one by one, we calculate this double integral. So for the inner integral, if you plug in 1 plus x squared, you get x times 1 plus x squared plus 1 plus x squared to the second power minus, now you plug in the lower bound, which is 2x squared. So you have x times 2x squared minus 2x squared to the second power, and then you're going to take the integral with respect to x. Let us simplify this as much as we can. This is equal to, if you distribute x into parentheses and write 1 plus x squared using expanded form to the second power and do the multiplication for 2x squared, and this guy is 4x to the fourth, you can simplify this to negative 3x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 1, and then take the integral with respect to x. These are simple calculation using power rule. If you do the calculation, the outcome is equal to 32 divided by 15. The most important part for you is to set up these two equal to each other so you can find the lower bound and upper bound for your x. Make sure to graph these and visualize as much as you can so you can analyze the base. And as we mentioned, this function is nothing but the ceiling. So in other words, you can say that, hey, we calculated the volume of the solid bounded above by x plus 2y and below by d, which is this object or this shape in xy plane. Let's take a look at visualizations together. So if we graph 2x squared and then x squared plus 1, this is the region that we are seeing here. And then if we add function z equals to x plus 2y, which is your ceiling, we need to look at this in three dimension. So basically, you have your z, which is x plus 2y. You can basically see it right here. This is this plane. And you are looking at the volume of this object bounded between this ceiling and the base down there. Can look at this from this point as well. So as you can see, this is the base that you have. And this is the ceiling. We can extend the ceiling as well to have a better visualization. But this is the 3D object that representing this two or double integral or iterated integral that you can see just right here. This volume is 32 divided by 15. There are other websites that can visualize this a little bit nicer and easier. You can use those as well if you need better visualization.